on day one of this coding journey, I started with Arduino. It's a little computer that lets you control electronics with code. And with it, I would be able to do something similar to the madman himself. Look, a steamy cup of beer. Michael Reeves. My somewhat weird inspiration of why I started electronics and coding. I just purchased an Arduino kit and an Arduino Udemy course and I just got started. I learned how to light up an LED with code, how to light an LED with this twisty thingy and how to light up multiple LEDs. <laughs> This was very far away from anything that Michael was building, but I gotta tell you, it felt good. And for anyone else that wants to code, this is the first takeaway from this coding journey. Just get started. I did the Udemy course from start to finish in like 70 days, but the happiness that I had in the beginning of doing the course was no longer there as my plan was to learn how to code these cool things. But all I learned was where to put the wires in a breadboard and then copy and paste code. So on day 71, I started another Udemy course called C++ from beginner to expert. And to keep it short, Ain't no way. Starting to learn code with C++ was very, very, very hard for me to do. I did not understand anything. And after 30 days of trying, I just gave up for months. I quit coding and uh, yeah, sad. And now we are at day 140. I came back for round two. Round two, fight. And I was motivated. I began my search for the best jobs by consulting with industry professionals and looking at jobs. <coughs> <coughs> Basically, uh, I just watched a top 10 coding languages to learn in 2020 and Python was at the number one place. So yeah, I started watching a bunch of YouTube videos about Python for beginners. I made all the basic beginner Python stuff like a calculator, quiz game, dice roller. And I really, really liked learning to code things with Python as it was just a lot easier to read and understand compared to C++. So after 50 days at around day 200, I felt like I now understood Python a tiny bit and I was the opposite of sad. I was more hyped than ever to learn coding again. So that could be the second takeaway from this video. Just try again. I needed to pick a certain part of Python to learn more about. And after some highly educated research, I chose web development. And because I'm a sucker for Udemy, I went to search for a Udemy course that taught the basics of web development. And this is where I found the most important course I have done to date. The complete 2020 web development bootcamp by Dr. Angela Yu on Udemy. This course was only nine euros and 99 cents, but the amount of info this course gives you is insane. From this course, I got my foundation of web development and of coding in general. In the beginning of the course, we learned about everything web development by firstly understanding what is HTML, CSS and JavaScript, and then doing a bunch of practical exercises like building blogs, to do apps. And I really, 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 really enjoyed the course because one, again, it was only nine euros, 99 cents, come on. And two, I would not understand why we need React without first doing vanilla JavaScript and why do we need Bootstrap or Tailwind without first doing CSS. And also, as I was doing this course, I realized that I should have started my coding journey with either web development or game development because it's simply a more engaging and more entertaining way of learning to code. You write code, it shows up on the screen, 
Monkey brain goes yay, simple as that. I did the complete 2020 web development course in three months. That takes us to somewhere around day 325. I felt really good with my coding progress and now I had to decide what to do next. And this is where we enter. Wait, let me switch the lights to be more dramatic. This is where we enter tutorial hell. For the next one year, I did not build anything of my own. I made new to-do apps and blogs and followed a few YouTube video tutorials, but basically I was just learning things without understanding why or where to use them and then just forgetting about what I learned. I was stuck in tutorial hell for around 364 days. And we are at day 690 and this is the fourth takeaway and this is obvious, avoid tutorial hell. And how I broke out of tutorial hell was somewhat accidental. I had a simple issue. There were these three sites where I looked up sales data for products I was selling. I just wanted to see all the sales from these three sites in one place. So I just started googling how I could do that and what I ended up doing was that I made a web scraper with Python that scraped the data from these three sites and generated a JSON file that I could then use on the front end and display it with a library called chart.js. I added some simple filters and stuff like that. It was a cool project but the most important thing was that it was my project. No tutorials, just solving a problem I have. This could also be the fourth takeaway from this video. Just solve problems you have with codes. This project took me around two months until around day 740. I now crawled out of tutorial hell and I was hooked on solving problems I have with code. So I searched for the next problem and I found one. I had to manually make these 360 renders of 3D models in Blender. So I was like, hey, I could do this with code. And I did, took me a few weeks and bam. I ran some code and it spits out six images that made a 360 render. It was epic. Let's continue with the timeline. We are now at day 800. I already solved two issues I had with code and I was super duper hyped and I wanted to solve more problems. And the next problem I wanted to solve was big. No, even bigger. Basically the biggest in my coding journey so far. I wanted to build a full stack website where you could log in with GitHub, create posts, delete these posts, update your profile, basically a social media type website. But to build something like that, I first had to understand how to make a full stack website in 2022. So I took a quick course on Next.js and Firebase. I did the course as quickly as possible, not to fall into tutorial hell again. <laughs> and to confirm what I learned, I made a little Twitter inspired website where you could tweet, load more tweets. So at around day 910, I was confident in my full stack skills and I was ready for my biggest project yet. I whipped up a quick Figma design in like two weeks and then I chose the stack. Next.js for the front end, Firebase as the back end, TypeScript as the language and Tailwind for the styling. I coded on and off almost every day for the next two months. At around day 1000, I finished the website. Okay, let's go over this coding journey one last time. Day zero started with Arduino, did that for 70 days, switched to C++ for the next 30 days, then gave up for like two months, came back, learned Python for a few months, decided to try web development and stayed there for like 120 days. Uh, we ignored this part, uh, started working on my own project, made like three of those and then finished my biggest website yet. It ain't much, 
but it's honest work. Uh, I was very proud of finishing this website, super, super hyped. It's actually live on portfolio.co if you want to go check it out. Also, you can see the source files on my GitHub. Cool, I also make other videos. You can see this one where I tried to freelance on Upwork. It was pretty cool actually. And uh, the other one is where I tried dropshipping. Um, yeah.